Hey folks, thanks so much for joining the channel. If you've ever asked yourself, well, hey, what's the difference between net metering and a solar buyback program? Stay tuned, you've come to the right place. We'll break it down for you in this video. All right, but before we dive in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to also tap on that notification bell. That helps us out with YouTube as well as keeps you up to date with all the new content that we produce here on the channel. Lastly, give us a call, send us a text message, email us, check out our website. We love hearing from you. Whether or not you're an existing solar customer and just have some questions about your system, or if you're looking to go solar and wondering if it's right for you and your family, reach out to us. We'll partner you up with one of our energy experts and they'll get back to you quickly and help talk you through all your questions and uh, make sure that you get the best deal for your family. All right, before we dive into what are the different incentive programs that utilities have to offer their solar customers, we first need to talk about why in the world would a utility company give you, a solar customer, an incentive in the first place? Well, to answer that question, we have to talk about power generation. It's incredibly expensive to generate electricity, let alone all the costs associated with transmitting that electricity through transmission lines, ultimately through substations and distribution lines that deliver electricity right to your home. So the costs associated with that generation come in typically two, two forms. The utility can generate their own electricity through their own power generation sources. You'll see wind farms, solar farms, uh, nuclear plants, um, even hydroelectric generation that's offered by the utility that they own and they operate. And that's operated at a much cheaper price because they own it. Now, whenever the utility customers use more electricity than what that utility can generate for themselves, they now have to buy that electricity. And where do they go to buy it? Out of state. They'll turn to other power plants outside of the state or other utilities that generate excess electricity. And then they pay a premium for that electricity to be transmitted over those wires at a substantial cost to you, the customer. So what's the purpose of having an incentive program for customers? Simple. They want to pay less money for generation, which simply means that when you are producing more electricity than what your home owns, the utility now has the option to buy that electricity back or in some cases to credit that excess electricity to your account. So let's talk about the two main options that utilities have for giving you, a solar customer, incentives to go solar. The first is net metering. So what's net metering? Sounds like a big fancy term, right? Well, it's a really simple concept. As you produce electricity as a homeowner that has solar, you're collecting all those free rays from the sun that just go right into your uh, solar panels and uh, generate enough electricity for you to use um, for your home. Any excess electricity, that is any additional electricity that you generate that you're not currently consuming in your home as a customer goes back to the grid. Now, the meter that you have installed outside your home is monitoring how much electricity you're pulling from the grid and how much now you are pushing to the grid. As the utilities start to look at how much energy you're actually transferring to the grid, they will offset that by giving you credits. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So if you, the customer, are generating, let's say, 10,000 kilowatt hours with your solar system, but you're only consuming 9,000 kilowatt hours, well, that excess of 1,000 kilowatt hours actually goes back to the grid. Now, when it passes through the meter, the utilities can calculate that, and they will credit you that in the event that, let's say, on a real cloudy day or in the middle of winter when there's not a lot of sun, let's say that now your home is using 10,000 kilowatt hours but you're only producing 9,000 kilowatt hours, they will credit you back that overproduction in your bill and essentially wiping out your utility bill. Now, net metering is not for everybody and here's why. Not all utilities offer it. Typically what you'll see with net metering, this crediting system of uh, electricity credits that go back and forth between your solar system and the grid, are typically offered with investor-owned utilities. Those are those big natural monopolies that exist and they really don't want to pay you for it, so they'll credit you instead. It's not the best option, but in some areas and in some states, it's the only option. Now let's talk about a much better incentive program, buybacks. That's what you have here in Texas. And count yourself lucky, not everyone has it. So what's a buyback? 
that's when the utility actually pays you for the excess electricity that you generate. Now, why is that a benefit? Because now you're actually making money. Now, before you go with a particular buyback option with the utility that's offered here in Texas, make sure you do your research. Not all utilities give you the same amount of money back for the, the electricity that you produce. In some cases, it's one to one, meaning that the price that they pay you for your electricity is the same price that they would charge you or any of their other customers. In other cases, they're buying it wholesale, which means that you're selling your excess power to, to the utility at a discount of which they would be charging you the customer or one of their other customers. There's so many options they could get very confusing. So if you have any questions before choosing a buyback program, or if you're an existing solar customer on a current buyback program, make sure you reach out to us. We'll help consult with you and guide you and educate you on all of your options to make sure that you are getting the best deal possible and are getting the most money put back into your pocket from the utilities. All right, folks, that wraps it up for today. But before you take off, please make sure to leave a comment below and let us know if you're on a net metering program, how's that working for you? Or if you're on a buyback program, what rate are you currently getting? Can't wait to hear about it. Thank you and God bless.